Good day, royal fans. Let's see what's potting in the royal family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's post-royal website launched deeply and settled the Queen. As the Sussex royals were gathering up to step down from the royal family on March 31st this year, they unveiled plans for a new website named Sussex Royal. It saw the couple move their updates and information to a personal site and away from the firm. But biographer of Finding Freedom detailed how the move unsettled Queen Elizabeth II and the rest of the royals. Omid Scooby and Karen Duran's biography took an inside look at Meghan and Harry's exit from royal life and revealed how the website made the couple's departure more pressing for the royal family. It said, Aides and family members knew the couple wanted to step back, but the website which laid out the details of their half-in, half-out model as if it were a done deal put the Queen in a difficult position. The website details the spring transition for the couple, including when their status as royals would be under review and what was expected of them as they stepped away. It also shows how Harry's military status changed and how the couple will carry out duties they took on while full-time royals. After Harry and Meghan launched the website, Buckingham Palace released a statement on social media recognizing their desire to do things differently. Finding Freedom went on to detail how Harry and Meghan's website launch laid bare the differences between the Sussexes and the royal family. It added, the element of surprise, the blindsiding of the Queen for the other principals who are all very mindful of this rightfully, it was deeply uncertainly. The family is very private and bringing it into the public domain when they were told not to hurt the Queen. It was laying out what the Sussexes wanted in a statement without consulting with Her Majesty first. And she's the head of the institution. In February, it was reported Meghan and Harry were to stop using the Sussex Royal brand. The Sussex Royals asked the Queen for permission to continue the use of their brand as private citizens, but ultimately were denied. It came after Harry and Meghan were believed to have spent tens of thousands on the website, as well as in efforts to register Sussex Royal as a global trademark. The Daily Mail reported at the time the couple accepted they will need to rebrand. Marlene Kuing, royal commentator, told Express.co.uk the couple could still use their surname without infringing on the reported ban. She said, I think it would be a smart idea just to use Sussex in the credits because then you really cannot be accused of using the title. The experts said generations of royals had used the method to avoid accusations of exploiting their royal connections to earn that cash money. Ms. Cooing continued when Edward did his production company and when he worked in the theatre, he was Edward Windsor. When Prince Richard of Gloucestershire, now the Duke, was an architect, he used as his name Richard Gloucestershire. Beatrice, as Infinity, uses Beatrice York. Eugene at Howes and Worth is Eugene York. So there you have it guys, there's always loopholes if you look hard enough for them. But should Harry and Meghan have to? Let me know what you thought of today's article. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with the latest installments. Goodbye for now.